Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona career mode series. As we always do, we'll look back at the last race and then see where we're headed today. So last time out we ran at Watkins Glen. I, I don't know how we did it, but we got a top five after finishing 39th, I think, at Sonoma. I'd say that was a big improvement for the team. I think all that practice I did really helped. And that finish bumped us up to 24th in the standings. We are pretty close to 23rd, so I think we can get him before the season's over, but we'll see. And continuing the month of August, we are headed to Michigan International Speedway. I'm starting this recording about two and a half hours before the Cup Series makes up their rained out race from yesterday at Michigan. So comment below who won, because at the time of recording, I don't know. And with this being our second trip to Michigan this year, I'm assuming that we have a pretty good setup, so I'm gonna run some practice and see how it feels. So I don't believe we have upgraded the car at all since the last time we were here, so I don't think we're gonna beat that record of 40.4 while we run single car anyways. Uh, we might, might do a little better when it comes to drafting, but we'll see. Well, I didn't hit anything. That's a positive, I guess. You might notice next to me, there's a nice little neon sign I got sent by YouTube. I like it a lot. It doesn't show up super well on camera um, that it's, you know, red and white, but it looks really cool. I like it a lot. It was a nice little free perk I got since I am part of the YouTube Partners program now. They also sent me a gift card for Domino's, so I ordered Domino's the other week. Ignore the bad driving, because I'm trying to look at the camera instead of looking at my monitor. But Domino's sent me a gift card, so I ordered pizza for my friends and I the other day, and uh, it was nice. Thanks, YouTube. Oh, somebody blowed up in practice already. Ah, Ward. Your trash. That's why they gave me the number 22. Okay, we are still crazy loose off of the corners, so I am gonna adjust for that and see if we can not wreck every time we exit a corner. I bumped up the wedge by three quarters of a percent. Let's see if uh, that's enough, too much, who knows. It does feel really nice to get through a corner without thinking you're going to crash. I do do like that. Don't like getting blocked. Pick a lane, my dog. Oh, man. Caught the wall. Uh, that's another another bad lap. <laughs> And since we weren't really up to speed when we got to the finish line, this is going to be another bad lap. But at least if we're not like wrecking every lap, I can uh, hopefully string together some good ones in the race. I think a big part of it is just trying to carry too much speed through the middle of the corner and then it doesn't want to exit the corner. So we are definitely not as fast as someone like Bobby Labonte. But we're faster than a lot of the, a lot of the junk cars, so. This might go well. It uh, very well might not. I'm also going to practice a pit road entry, because that's something I never do. Oh yeah, just like we drew it up. Man, Mark Martin is still two seconds faster than our uh, than our best lap. 
I'm guessing we're gonna be about 20th. Go, 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 go. Go, go, Clip the wall just a bit. I think we'll be okay though. Thankfully it was towards the corner and not like the beginning of the straightaway. So I don't think we lost too much time. Definitely having to put a lot of wheel in it to get through three and four but this might be a pretty okay lap. All right, let's see where we play. Okay, we took half a second off of our best practice lap, so can't complain there. All right, 15th. Think I can live with that. Let's go run this Michigan race so I can sit on the couch and watch the Michigan race. This is the Michigan International Speedway, home to the automobile industry and some great competition. If you like three and four wide racing, then Michigan's your track. This two mile trioval allows for great action with its high banks and wide surface. Located just outside the Motor City, drivers are always hoping to put on a great show for the auto industry here. Get set, the race is going green. There's the green flag. All right, we successfully Car made high. it to the line without uh, Car high. bumping anyone yet. Stay low, still there. All clear. So we lost a couple spots off of the start we are very loose oh neptune all right we're fine oh uh, <laughs> i tried to not hit kevin and caught the wall pretty good all right we have 25 laps to go and we are gonna have to pit twice What a lovely start. Still there. All clear. Clear high. Looks like the guys up front are starting to string out pretty Still far low. already. All clear. Goodness gracious, we are loose. All right. We are definitely gonna put some more wedge in it whenever we pit. We are down 21 spots in the span of about two laps. This is going great. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. There's a spin in turn four. The yellow is out. Yes, the yellow is out. Car high. So we're pitting because this car is junk. Um, I don't. I don't understand how I can practice well, qualify well, 
and then get in the race and the car is just a pile of garbage. I don't get it. We have knocked every corner on this car and damaged a wheel in the span of like two and a half laps. And Rusty there. Wallace is going for it up there. Clear high. And we are bonking the nose again. Hold your Everything's line. fine. Car high. Yep. Everything's Clear fine. High. Clear low. Well, at least he saved it back there. I'm gonna try and conserve fuel and see if maybe I can make it on just one more stop. I'm guessing that was uh, the reason Rusty Wallace pit when he did, was to try that same strategy, but we're obviously not like fast. So maybe we can try some, some strategy like we did at Watkins Glen to scam another good finish. And the yellow's out again. Okay. I would assume it... Goodness gracious, man. Ugh. I hate that everyone just slams on the brakes before they get to the line. <sighs> well, there goes that strategy. The pace car is off. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. I hit skip and it put me a lap down. I hate this game. I really hate this game. <laughs> I'm okay. Everything is fine. There is no reason to be mad. All is well. And we're just as wrecked as we were five laps ago. I love this game. On the bright side, the car is finally driving decently. It only took wrecking 10 times, I guess. All clear. Why is Mark All Martin clear. back here? Car low. Will someone get out of the way? Clear low. There's a spin in turn one. Out. 
There's a spin in turn two. I don't know how in the world we did not blow up anything too bad there. We didn't even hurt the engine at all. This game's amazing. Why is everyone so slow? Like, we're slow. Why are we running people over? Hold your line. Car low. Clear high. Like, dude, get out of the way. All clear. Oh my gosh. Carlo. I love Clear this game. I'm having so much fun. This is this is great. Everything is awesome. I love it. Dirt to Daytona is a good game and you should consider playing it. Clear high. Pace cars out. Car high. Car low. There's a spin in turn three. All right, let's fix the car for the ninth time today. This is great. Pace car is off. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Why are they wrecking up there? All clear. <laughs> when you have a slow car leading a line, nobody can uh, get past <laughs> the slow cars. Clear low. Car low. Clear low. Okay. You're all clear. All clear. Well, that worked out pretty nice. All clear. Come on! All clear. Car low. The AI in this game really do not care. This is clear insane. Low. Still there. Yes, Matt, Car go high. past. Don't hit me again, please. That was a great lap. Look at that. We just ran our best lap of the race.
Well, after all of that, we are one spot ahead of where we started. And with the leaders being a lap ahead, there's only five, five laps to go for us. If I cannot crash, I might finish up here in 14th. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hold off Terry, but we'll see. Is that Matt Kenseth is slow? Oh, sorry, Terry. I wonder what happened to Matt. All right, it looks like he was pulling off to pit, but I'm not positive. Come on, I cannot enter this corner to save my life. The leaders have already taken the white flag. Oh, it's fine. Oh, that was less than fine. Oh, that was, uh, that was rough. I didn't maybe mean to do all that. These tires are angry. We're fine. Everything's fine. It only took uh, about 14 cautions, but uh, top 15, baby. That was an ugly race. Oh my goodness. They don't ask how you did it. They just ask where you finished. Well, that certainly wasn't one of the prettier races that we ran, but uh, we finished and we got a top 15. So hopefully we made some money. I gotta say, I did not expect to be in the positive that much after this race, but can't complain. <laughs> it's money and we need some upgrades. So we were able to move up two positions in the race and looks like we bumped up one in the standings as well. So we are just one point ahead of Mike Wallace and Casey Atwood is almost 100 points ahead of us. So we've definitely got some work to do in order to move even higher up in the standings, but that top 35 goal I think is pretty much a lock. So we've just crossed the $750,000 mark. I wonder if there's any upgrades we can get with that.
So in order to make any real improvement in the motor category, it's gonna cost us another half a million dollars compared to what we've got now. So I don't think a motor upgrade is in the cards for us just yet. Now the suspension category, we have already got almost the best you can get. The only better option is a little lighter, but the durability actually goes down and you guys know the way I race. So I don't think we're gonna be buying this one. I think we're pretty much done upgrading suspension. Now we do have this option in the aerodynamic department, but it will leave us with $2,800. So <laughs> we have to make money next race or we will be in a world of hurt. And in the exhaust department, we can't really have any more horsepower than we already have. The torque and redline could change in our favor a little bit, but don't really think that's worth a million dollars. So I think we'll probably go one more race. And as long as we finish in the green, then we'll probably grab that suspension upgrade. And that is going to do it for another episode. I just want to say a big thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment if you've got anything to say, and subscribe if you're not. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.